that's that's number one in terms of making sure that you're getting the same speed, internet speed throughout. And and RB is really designed for that from a dedicated okay. backhaul, as I mentioned, in terms of doing that. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of all the Smart Things video series from IoT for All, the number one publication and resource for the Internet of Things industry. I'm your host, Ryan Chacon. If you are watching this on YouTube, please give this a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to our channel if you have not already done so. On today's episode, we have Sandy Parpalani, the Vice President of Product Management at Netgear. For those of you who may be unfamiliar with Netgear, um, they are a company that has been pioneering advanced networking technologies for home businesses and service providers for a very long time. They have a wide range of advanced connected solutions ranging from mobile and cloud-based services to um, Wi-Fi solutions, things that help with, with online gaming, Ethernet for pro AV applications, you name it. Um, they kind of cover the full spectrum there. I'm sure most of you have been familiar with Netgear products in the past. So he comes on today to talk about their new product, the Orbi Quad Band Mesh Wi-Fi 6E system. This is a product focused on um, delivering quad band technology for faster internet speeds with more devices simultaneously um, with less interference and wait time. So it's a very interesting product. Um, they actually sent us one. I've been uh, testing it out uh, where I live and it's been it's been fantastic. And on today's episode, what we talk about is not only just the, what the product is, um, the target audience and how this product came to be, but we also answer a very common question is why should people look at replacing the stock router that their cable provider or internet provider gives them? Um, when they sign up. So something that I know a lot of you have, and maybe if you've had headaches in the past with with um, routers, this is a discussion that is very relevant to you as to why it makes sense to be looking at aftermarket um, routers that uh, would be a fit for the size home you live, the number of devices, the internet speed you have, and so forth. So all in all, a very fun and fantastic conversation for all of you out there who have internet in your homes, um, which I'm sure most of you do. So. Um, I hope you enjoyed this episode of the All the Smart Things video series. Um, so enjoy. Welcome, Sandy. Thanks for taking some time to chat with us today. Thank you, Ryan, for having me. It's a, it's a, it's a pleasure. Absolutely. I'm looking forward to this conversation. I wanted to kick this off by having you give a quick introduction about yourself. Uh, thanks. Uh, I'm Sandeep Harpalani. I'm the Vice President of Product Management with uh, Netgear. I handle our uh, product portfolio. Uh, that goes into the consumer homes. And let's, for those very few members of our audience that probably have never heard of Netgear before, tell us kind of what the company does, the focus, and kind of, uh, you know, what you, what you all do there. Yeah, so Netgear is uh, focused on the consumer segment. We provide our uh, networking products. You might have heard about our Wi-Fi routers, our, mm. our RB mesh Wi-Fi systems, uh, cable gateway products, range extenders. So the entire portfolio of products in the, which are typically a customer required to connect to the internet. That's the mm -hmm. core segment that we are, are meeting. We are a market leader in the space um, and uh, have been there for more than 25 years now. Fantastic. So today we're going to be talking about the Orbi quad band mesh Wi-Fi system that you guys have. Um, I've had a chance to use it. It's fantastic. Um, but th what I wanted to do was if you could just kind of start off by giving us an overview of what this product is, kind of how it came to exist, and just talk to us at a high level there to start with. Sure. And maybe I'll, I'll take a little bit back in terms of talking about the Orbi product line itself and, and give you a little bit more of a background here. So uh, clearly um, the objective of a Wi-Fi router or a, a system is to basically make sure that the internet that you're getting from your internet provider, you're able to connect to all the devices in the home. Mm -hmm. So there, there are two issues that you're trying to phys basically resolve uh, uh, with uh, your Wi-Fi router or your mesh system is basically one number one is to make sure that you're covering the entire home, that your Wi-Fi is you're able to connect all the devices. And then today, when you talk about the home, it covers really outside of the home. You might be trying to take a call there or play some streaming music. You might be having IP cameras. You might be having mm -hmm. an electric car that wants to be upgraded. So it's basically looking at the entire property itself and making sure that you have good Wi-Fi coverage there. The second key thing that you're trying to achieve is whatever is the internet speed that you're getting from an internet provider. You're paying money for it, $50, $60, whatever it is. Um, and it could be 100 megabits, it could be a gigabit, and so on. The speeds are, the broadband speeds continue to increase. So you want to make sure that for that monthly payment that you make to your internet provider, you're basically getting the same speeds throughout the home. So you're not only getting that 
gigabit speed that you are subscribing yeah. for in one corner of the house, but you get it throughout your home. And that was the key objective when we started looking at the Orbi mesh Wi-Fi system. That was the key objective that we are trying to achieve is how do we make sure that you give you whole home coverage and not only just whole home coverage, but also making sure that the same mm. internet speed that you're getting at one right. corner of the house, you're getting it throughout your home. So how does this kind of compare to other products you have out there or other products that um, somebody in a home may have, uh, you know, as their, um, as their router right now? Like what, you know, most people from my knowledge have probably a single router in their home, but what, what makes this kind of different? Is it the, uh, uh, how much coverage it provides and kind of keeps up the internet speed across the whole home? Like, what is it that makes this kind of unique than just putting one router in in your home where the where the internet comes in and then kind of just leaving it alone? Yeah, so uh, I, I think the people are familiar with the Wi-Fi router. Um, right. And then it's laws of physics. As you move away from that Wi-Fi router, your internet speed, your Wi-Fi speeds will go down. So mesh is solving that problem by moving from a single router to multiple units. So you have a router and then you have these satellites that can mm -hmm. be spread across the house to basically make sure. And what these satellites do is they take the Wi-Fi from the main router and then extend it further to give right. you a full coverage throughout your home. Gotcha. Now, one of the key problems with this is that as you add more and more of these satellites, you're basically taking all the Wi-Fi that you have or the internet connection that you have from your internet provider and then you spread it across to a, talking to one you're basically talking to the satellite in terms of Wi-Fi as well as you're talking to the other devices in the home mm. so as you add more and more satellites you're basically reducing that bandwidth that you have available in terms of right. connecting to all these devices so what with Orbi uh, fundamentally, the, the key difference that we have as an RB product line is, number one, is that we've added a dedicated backhaul. We basically, in addition to the typical Wi-Fi router that has maybe two bands, 2.4 and 5 gigahertz, and the latest, which I've got three bands, 2.4, 5, and 6, Netgear has one additional Wi-Fi band, and that is dedicated for connecting between the RB and the satellite. Gotcha. So what it ensures okay. is, is is making sure that if you're getting a gigabit speed to the main router, you're actually getting the similar gigabit, similar speeds on the satellite also, because that is like a separate highway that you have that's not shared with any other devices. Mm -hmm. You can mm -hmm. connect 10 devices, you can connect 50 devices. It does not impact that dedicated backhaul, which is there for connecting between the router and satellite. It's, it's almost it's like having your wired right wireless connection right and is that when 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 it says quad band is that the the four bands that you're talking about there yeah so typically you have heard about 2.4 and 5 and gigahertz five right right and, and and the six gigahertz is the new wi-fi band which is uh, just been opened up and it's a huge deal because the last time we added uh, any any kind of a bandwidth was more than a decade ago so think about the number of devices that were available and so on. It's it's really the market has really exploded exploded in terms of number of devices. Mm -hmm. So so we are utilizing all the bandwidth that's available on five gigahertz. So six gigahertz is additional Wi-Fi spectrum that's available for Wi-Fi devices. So uh, the Orbi nine sixty series, the quad band Orbi, basically yeah. has support for two point four five and this new six gigahertz band, and that's all available for connecting your devices. In addition to that, we have an, one more dedicated backhaul, so that's what makes it right. four Wi-Fi bands. Gotcha. One for connecting to the satellite, and three for connecting to all your devices in the home. Now, on the six gigahertz side, is that made for any specific, anything? how does that kind of differ from the five and the 2.4? From like a consumer standpoint, when they see all three of those, how do they know which, which one they should be connecting to, which one's better for them? Is it based on devices, based on uh, how far away that they are from, from the routers. Like what, what is it that kind of differentiates those three from a consumer standpoint? So number one, six gigahertz is almost double the bandwidth of five gigahertz. Okay. So think about if, if a four lane highway, you're going from a four lane highway to an eight lane highway. Right. So you have less chances of congestion, you have less interference and so on. The second thing is, it's not only um, you require devices that support six gigahertz band to utilize that. 
So it's not like you older devices will work. You basically require latest devices and you have already have devices in the market like your mobile phones, or Samsung mm. phones and so on that already support the six gigahertz band. Okay. And most likely you will see the next uh, mobile device that you buy or the next laptop that you buy most likely will have that six gigahertz support if it does not have it already. Okay. So it, it's, it's making sure that your home infrastructure is ready for yep. these devices as you go and upgrade that. Gotcha. So it's a, it's a, so that's the second benefit of six gigahertz is that it's not only a completely new infrastructure that is available where there's no interference, but it's also will take a lot of time before that is consumed because it basically requires newer devices that support the six gigahertz band. So gotcha. you have, think of like an autobahn where only faster devices can go and they will really help in terms of uh, uh, getting you the best speeds on those right. critical devices right. where you're consuming media. Right. Okay. Fantastic. Go ahead. Yeah. Sorry. And, and, and one more benefit is as you move some of these uh, high bandwidth devices, your mobile phones, your, your laptops to the six gigahertz, effectively what you're doing is you're also preparing some space on the five gigahertz, yep. making it less congested. So that it'll overall help in terms of improving the speeds all across the devices in your home, right? Because you're getting better, better bandwidth, more bandwidth available on the five gigahertz devices. And of course, the six gigahertz devices yep. will utilize that completely new six gigahertz band with no interference and will go much, much more faster. Absolutely. And when it comes to like a target audience standpoint, who is this built for? I mean, obviously anyone can use it, but are we talking about mainly focusing on larger homes that have more space to, in order to ensure that connectivity is, is stronger around the entire property? Or, or what is it that you kind of aim this product more so at when it comes to a uh, target buyer? Yeah, so the way we look at it, everybody should have good Wi-Fi, right? right. So I think that's, that's the fundamental a reasoning by which we have designed this. Now, clearly, when you talk about a mesh system or Orbi mesh system, you're looking at something which is larger house that you cannot cover with a single Wi-Fi router. Yeah. So typically a larger house, um, if you have a lot of devices in your home, if you have a family, you have kids, you have teenagers or preteens. Yep, yep. Typically, people have 20, 30, 40 devices right. in their home or more. Right. Uh, almost every new device that you will buy today, whether it's your vacuum cleaner and so on, has some kind of internet connectivity. So not only think about the devices that you have, but also mm. think, think about the number of devices you'll have in the future. Yep. And then somebody who's looking for a faster speed in terms of if you are paying for a fast internet speed, whether it's 600 megabits per second or a gigabit per second and so on, you want to make sure that you were buying a capable mesh system that is able to kind of give you those kind of speeds throughout the home. And the benefit here is you can always go and add more. So if you find that you're living in a certain size home and right. three, three, to three uh, one router and two satellites is not sufficient, you can always add another satellite later on okay. and provide you with additional coverage for that, maybe in that corner room where you right, have right, now right. a 65-inch TV, yeah. you feel that you have having issues. Totally makes sense. Uh, and so tell me about um, kind of the evolution of, we're talking about routers, right? We've, uh, you know, a lot of people have their internet provider gives them a router and they're just using that and, and that's kind of what all they know and all they think they need to know but there's this whole other side of kind of i would say aftermarket like routers that you don't get directly from your internet provider that actually people should really be considering not just the orbi but just in general you, have, you obviously you all have many different products but what is it about kind of going away from this, the uh, you know let's say for instance i have xfinity comcast internet and they provide a router i don't use theirs i've i have my own um what is it about kind of going and maybe upgrading yourself from the the stock router that they give you to something like the Orbi or, or just kind of an aftermarket product like this that matters so much or really should be something people consider? So I think the first thing would be in terms of, uh, again, if, if you have <clears throat> a larger house that you find issues in terms of internet connectivity. And okay. the issues could be in terms of uh, buffering or it could be, running a speed test in my backyard and seeing, hey, I'm paying for a gigabit, but I only get 50 megabits or right. 100 megabits and so on. So effectively, you're paying for 10 times and you're getting one tenth of that speed yep. in one corner of your house. So you have to think about in terms of, I want that same speed. I want that same experience of basically downloading the stuff and then 
it, it should come at it should come uh, down immediately and my phone sh sh i want a certain responsiveness in that so definitely that's that's number one in terms of making sure that you're getting the same speed internet speed throughout and and rb is really designed for that from okay. a dedicated backhaul as i mentioned in terms of doing that the, the second thing to consider is really in terms of uh the security aspects of it and so on right in terms of we have a lot of iot devices at home so we have we, we have a lot of uh, uh, mobile devices and and, and uh, laptops and so on what kind of security do you have on the wi-fi router um, earlier you could put your antivirus and so on on your laptops which you can still do but now you have all these iot devices and then think about all the ip cameras and everything and then maybe your door locks you want to protect all these devices and make sure you're protecting your home because if somebody gets access to that basically has access to now your home in terms of you can open the front door lock and the best place to run that security is on the main router itself because there's really nothing there's not enough memory that there's not enough processing power on that iot devices that you can run any kind of a security functionality here so think about it it's like if you want to secure your home you want a good front door lock and that's what the router is because all the internet traffic is going through that router right. is you want to have a security solution running on that router itself yep. that protects all the devices that are behind that yep. router. Yeah, that's actually my um, next question. I was going to ask you about the security element to it and kind of how that plays in because that's not something people think about either um, when, when they're yes. when they're thinking about it. it's just the security. And there are probably other benefits to the product as well that you know people just don't think about. All I think about is does this give me wi-fi or not and how strong is it and you know how does it work right right so uh, there are a couple of things here especially in the quad band orby in terms of targeting at that iot uh, one is we have more number of wi-fi networks so typically in a typical mesh system you have one wi-fi mesh system which has the same um, network name or ssid as they call it between the 2.4 5 and 6 gigahertz uh, and then you have a guest network in the case of Orbi, we actually have a separate Wi-Fi network that is for IoT devices. So all your older 2.4 and 5 gigahertz devices can be connected to the IoT devices. And then in addition to that, we have a service called Armor, which is a subscription service that is available for customers so that they can get that capability in terms of protecting all the devices in the home network and making sure that you have a full shield, kind of a security shield that protects that. As part of that Armour subscription, not only do we provide software that runs on the router itself that protects all the devices, but it also has the antivirus okay. for your PCs, whether yep. it's your Windows, Macs, gotcha. or your iOS or Android devices, okay. or your mobile phones and so on. And all that is included into a single a uh, uh, subscription bundle and it covers unlimited number of devices that you have within the home. So it's 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 really designed keeping in mind that provides a full solution, not only the best performance yep. that you expect really in terms of Wi-Fi and the coverage at a distance, but it's also the security part of it that is bundled in along with it. That's fantastic. Yeah, something that people don't think about, but it's definitely more and more important the more devices you have and the more just smart home kind of solutions become popular. So um Definitely, definitely recommend that people kind of explore these kinds of options as opposed to just taking what the um, their internet service provider gives them and and being 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 kind of happy with that. Um, last thing I want to ask you before I let you go here is for our audience out there who wants to learn more about the Orbi the product line, other stuff that Netgear has going on. What's the best way that they can do that? Well, uh, the best way is to basically go to our Netgear website okay. and uh, you will find details on the product in terms of you'll find uh, videos on it. Uh, you could find a lot of information. Netgear has a YouTube channel. You can basically look at some of the videos that we do, which, which are more designed in terms of talking about the details of the product. They're more educational. Um, a lot of information that's available on the Netgear website, and that would be a good place to kind of go and start with in terms of trying to learn more okay. about our product lines. Fantastic. Um, well, Sandy, thanks so much for taking the time to kind of come here and talk about this product. Fantastic product you all have. Um, been using Netgear products forever that I can remember. Um, I'm looking actually through a window right now past my camera at a Netgear box <laughs> that I have um, with some other products that from from you all that. Um, so, I, I, you know, great brand, um, great offering. And thank you so much for kind of giving us a little bit of behind the scenes look at on how it was developed 
pro, uh, features, technology, and all those kinds of things. Really inter interesting, and I think our, our audience is going to get a ton of value out of this. Thank you, Ryan, for inviting me, and thank you for being a, a, a Netgear customer. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. All right, everyone. Thanks again for watching that episode of All the Smart Things video series with Netgear. Um, I hope you found a lot of value learning about the Orbi and kind of how it works, what it can do. If you're interested in learning more, you can always go to their website to check out information about the product, as well as many of their other products that um, could be a fit for, for what you're looking to solve. Um, if you did enjoy this, again, we would please appreciate it if you would give a thumbs up to this video and subscribe to our channel if you have not already done so. If you have any products out there that you think would be great for us to find and showcase and discuss with the creators around how the products came to be, what, what the technologies are inside um, and how they work, uh, please feel free to leave that in the comments or reach out to us directly at uh, ryan at iftforall.com um, with more information about the product and we'd be happy to get in touch with either you or the company directly to learn more and potentially have you featured on one of the future episodes. Other than that, thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.